And welcome back to Flooring Africa. Here we are in the workshop studio and today we've got quite an exciting experiment underway. We are going to be torture testing some wooden flooring, ultimately oak panels, but we've got one of our partner guests in today, Brian. Morning, welcome. Barry. Thank you. We, well, tell me a little bit more about what's going to be happening today. Like, uh, what are we actually trying to prove? Right, so um, we've got Osmo from Germany here, and we're going to apply uh, a couple of common stains that you'll find on your wooden surfaces onto Osmo versus some of the other hard wax oils that are available in the South African market. Fantastic. So yeah. this is about proving or demonstrating how you get different grades of product available in our marketplace yeah, absolutely. and how they potentially will, will respond differently to different types of staining yeah. and that we can't put all of these products into the same category. There's uh, like uh, entry levels, medium levels, and then there's high levels. And it's a bit of an experiment to define where Osmo is in all of this. Yeah, absolutely. We want to see if we can get an Osmo finish here and give you Osmo protection. Osmo protection, that Osmo sounds fantastic. Protection. We have uh, four boards here. They're all American white oak boards that have been prepared as per the manufacturer's specifications on their tins. Uh, the first board is Osmo. These are two locally made hard wax oils. And over here we have an imported hard wax oil, which is a single coat application. And over here we have some things we got out of the fridge at home. So let's give this a bash. And then we're going to leave the products on the wood for about two hours. And after two hours, we'll wipe them off. Right, so first of all, we have some tomato sauce. We have some cheap red wine. We have some olive oil, soda water, hand sanitizer, thank you, COVID. Uh, some really strong coffee and some cola. So let's go. impressive to see here is that all four of these products have beaded beautifully. So you can see that they're maintaining their surface tension. This product's already soaking through a little bit on the oil. Yeah, so I think um, that's a great start. We're going to leave these for two hours, how they soak in or don't. So um, on the imported single coat product, red wine's a problem. Uh, that was olive oil, it's gone right through. Um, this was soda water, this was cola. Sorry, that was cola and this was balsamic vinegar. So they've all marked. Um, the tomato sauce has been fine. Small mark, nothing serious. Okay. Then on the local, local oils, red wine again, olive oil again, soda water again, and balsamic vinegar again. The cola didn't touch this one, which is interesting. Another local product, red wine problem. Not so much of olive, little olive oil, soda, big problem, cola and Balsamic has marked all of them. So, let's have a look at what Osmo does. 
I can see that he's been sunning on the surface, but it seems to have held up very well. I don't have any marks. Right, so as you can see, very different results from the four products. We understand every, every product is different. Every product has its application. Um, in our world, we like to talk about Osmo on top. Osmo is a really robust, hard-wearing surface that will stand up to pretty much everything you can throw at it. And the proof is really in the pudding over here. So, so you mean to say it's going to be robust for even Barry? Barry, it's, some products have their limits. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But you can see there's, there's quite a dramatic difference between those yeah. four different uh, products. Yeah. And obviously, you know, I love my tomato sauce. I love my red wine even more. Uh, I'm partial to coffee and cola. Um, but th th that, that, that test speaks for itself. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I really look forward to exploring these, uh, these ranges a lot further because I've come across so many reports and uh, impartial inspections where people are paying a lot of money for these floors, Absolutely. a lot of money for the installation, and then you have the floors fail just with an accidental uh, uh, glass of red wine going yeah. over. And Cup it's quite coffee. hard to repair. Yeah, very difficult to repair, especially when you've got colored surfaces. All of the products tell you that the products are easy to repair when they're colored. They're not actually that easy to repair. Spot repair is very, very difficult to do. So you don't want to be spot repairing. You want a product that will actually stand up to the stain right off the bat. And I think that the proof is in the pudding over here. Um, Osmo works really well on top of other products as well. So uh, we've tested it on top of South African finishes. And if you're looking for a surface that does this, you can go and get any color you want from a, another supplier and you can put Osmo on top, as long as it's the same base product, so an oil wax blend. Which, which is what this is. That is fascinating because yeah. that really provides a solution for our local market. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us here Pleasure on uh, um, uh, Flooring Africa in the studio and being a partner of uh, the workshop studio. Um, we've got so much more to explore. I look forward to having you back on the show. Thanks, Barry. That's great. Thanks, and thanks for having us on the show. Right, so if you'd like to know more about Osmo, you can find us at osmo.africa. So on the web, that's at www.osmo.africa. We're on Instagram as osmo.africa and Facebook, osmo.africa. Thank you very much. This is really exciting. This is what uh, Flooring Africa and the Workshop Studio is all about. It is about testing products to make sure that we are selling the right products into the right category for the right project. It is about doing your research and getting the right installer for application, the right base product. This is the information that I crave as a, a self-confessed pouring nerd and we look forward to your support. Please consider subscribing, hit us in the, in the comments. If you want to know more about the product, all the details will be in the description below. Thank you.